Okay guys, got another scenario for you here. It's a 2017 Toyota Tundra, but the year really doesn't matter. So if you are sitting here and you are pumping your fuel and it's constantly clicking off on you and you're wondering what causes this? The truth is you caused this. You made this happen or the previous driver if you just got the vehicle and it's doing it. So here's what happens. This, this system, this tank has a rollover vent valve in the tank. So if the vehicle rolls over, it pops down and doesn't allow the fuel to come out. But if you are the type of person, as my wife is, and you're pumping fuel and you get to $36.14, but you love that even number, so you continue to pump and you shake the truck and you continue to pump, then what you are doing is you are adding more fuel in the tank and it can't hold no more, so it goes through the EVAP line into your charcoal canister. Now your charcoal canister could very well be a reserve tank holding some fuel. It's not gonna go back to the tank, it's gonna absorb it because it's charcoal and you're gonna end up having to change this or evap solenoid or a purge solenoid. But here's what else happens. As the fuel moves back and forth through the evap line, it pops your rollover valve up as if the vehicle rolled over. Now guess what your tank is not doing? It is not venting properly. So you sit here and pump and pump and wonder, how come I turn the handle this way? It, it seems to work better if I turn it this way or upside down. It's because you probably popped your rollover valve and it's not venting. And some people change the line going in thinking, oh, it's got a clog in it. That's very rare. The line going in is about that big. The vent line is about that big. You're not gonna clog that with a little bit of dirt or debris from your fuel. It's probably the rollover valve. And remember, your EVAP and your purge valve work opposite of each other. When one's closed, the other is open. When that one's closed, the other one's open. So you really don't get plugs there either unless the charcoal canister has came apart and the small pieces of charcoal have got into that line. You'll know that because when you pull the purge valve, you'll see all that little black sand looking stuff. I have a video if you want to click below, you can see how that works. But I just wanted to make this video for you. If you're putting gas in and it's taking forever, it's probably your own fault. Drop the tank, check out that rollover valve, take a piece of wire and you can get it through the neck here, but you have to remove this and just pop that, re that rollover valve back down. If that little stainless steel valve goes back down even an eighth of an inch, that was your problem. So I hope this video helps you out. Please click like, please click subscribe. Click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And as always guys, enjoy.